The question we shall be dealing with today is taken from the topic statistics and probability. Statistics and probability. And this question is drawn from Wasi, June 2007, Mathematics 2, Theory Questions, Part 2, Number 13. Now let us take a look at what the question actually says. In a college, the number of absentees recorded over a period of 30 days was as shown in the frequency distribution table. And here is the frequency distribution table. We have number of absentees, 0 to 4, and number of days, 1. Then 5 to 9, we have 5. Then 10 to 14, we have 10. And then 15 to 19, we have 9. Then 20 to 24, we have 5. The question says calculate the A, mean, B, standard deviation, correct to two decimal places. Now, as I said before, this is a case of statistics. How do we approach this question? The first thing we note is we are dealing with a case of group data. So whenever you see numbers like this, they are called group data, okay? This first number is the lower class interval, while this other one here is the upper class interval. In this channel, we are going to be looking at statistics for um, these few periods that we have before the examination will commence. Now, the first thing we should do now again is this. Look at what we are asked to calculate, the mean and then standard deviation. Before we can go on to solve this problem, we need to write out the formula for the mean. So, if you want to write out the formula for the mean, we can say m, which signifies the mean, is equals to summation f of x, then we divide this by summation f. We are going to be using this to plot the required table for us to solve this problem. You are going to see that in a moment, okay? Now, the second thing again we need is the standard deviation. And the formula for standard deviation is SD to equal the square root of summation f of x minus m all squared then divided by summation f. So we shall be using these two formulas to and draw the required table to solve this problem. Now let us take a look at the templates that I've already done here. In this table, the first part here is the number of absentees as you can see here from 0 to 4 down to 20 to 24. They are all um, written in column form here, okay? Then the next thing we do is to get the mid values because if we are to look for the mean, we cannot just take this group data here and start solving. We need a representative in this class, okay? And that representative is what we call the words, the mid value or class mark, okay? Now how do we get the class mark? All we simply do is to add the zero and four together Let's do that somewhere here. 0 plus 4, and the result is 4. Then we divide by 2. That's the reason why we say mid values, okay? So if we divide by 2, we are going to have 2. So this 2, we come here and we place it here. Now, the next thing I want to introduce to you now is this. Of course, we know we can go on to add 5 and 9, then divide the result by 2. But there is a smarter way we can do that. All we have to do is to look at the interval. The distance between 4 and 9. If you subtract 9 minus 4, you're going to have 5. And if you do the same thing here, you're going to have 5. So you realize that the difference between the intervals or the classes here is 5. So which means we are also going to have the same difference here along the column of your mid values. So what do I mean by that? We are going to add 5 to 2 to get our what? Our 7. And if you test it, 5 plus 9 is 14 divided by 2, of course, it gives us 7. So let's keep adding 5 to get the subsequent values for the mid values here. So for add 5 here, it gives us 12. 5 to plus 12 will give us 17. And 5 plus 17 will give us 22. Okay, so that is what we have here. These are all the values. So the next thing we are going to do now is to get the numbers that falls under the column of the frequency. Now
Now, by the by frequency, we are referring to the number of days, which is all written out here. 1, 5, 10, 9, and 5. So, we are going to write them out here. 1, 5, 10, 9, and then what? And then we have 5. Then, we are going to add up all this. Now, why, how do we know we are going to add up? Because of what we have here, summation F. Okay, so if we add up everything here, it is going to give us 30. So if you add up 1 to 5, 5 plus 10, 10 plus um, whatever you have here, just add up everything, it's going to give us what, 30. So the next thing we are going to do now in order for us to calculate our mean is to get the product of F and X. Don't forget that X represents the mid term of each items that we have here. So we are going to come here. What is the mid term we have? 2 to represent x then f all the values here we, we shall be multiplying them together so here we we'll write out our f of x and 2 times 1 will give us 2 if we multiply 5 and 7 it's going to give us what 35 and then if we multiply the next one here which is 12 times 10 is going to give us what 120 and if we multiply 9 17 times 9 and that is going to give us 153. Then if we multiply 22 times 5, it's going to give us 110. So we have 110. Now, what are we going to do with this f of x? According to the formula, this sign you see here means we add up the values for f and x. So we are going to add up all these values we've gotten here. And in doing that, we are going to arrive at the answer for... 20 okay so we cannot proceed further here to get the other part of this table except we get our mean using this value and this value so how do we do that yes how we do it we come we come here and put our a and we write therefore our mean repeat that same formula is summation f of x upon summation f now our summation f of x is what we have gotten here for 20 then we divide this by summation f which is the total frequency and that will give us 30 and finally if we divide these values we are going to arrive at um, 14 so which means that our mean for this particular problem we are solving is what 14 so answer question a now let's move to answering question b which has to do with getting the standard deviation now, if you take a look at the formula in the standard deviation, of course, we know summation f, we can get it from here. But if you take a look at what we have at the numerator, you can see that we have summation f of x minus m all squared. What does this mean? Your x minus m is talking about the deviation from the mean. And that is the reason why we needed to get the word the mean. Then if we have gotten that, we take the square of it and multiply by the frequency. Then we take the sum of all the values there and then we can divide by the sum of the total frequency. And then we've got to take the square root of it and that will give us the value for the standard deviation so what are we going to do next now we are going to get the deviation from the mean that is we take our x minus m that's what we are going to do so we come to the x column which is what we have here the mid values and we are going to subtract the mean from each of the x values so for the first value here we have two let's do a rough work here this is the two then minus minus the value we've gotten for the mean as you can see we've gotten the value for the mean as what 14 so we can come here and subtract that and in doing this if we do the subtraction definitely this is 14 if you do the subtraction you are going to have minus what minus 12 so here we have minus minus 12. we come to the next one there we have 7 7 minus 14 that will give us minus what minus 7 and then we write our minus 7 here okay so what we are going to do what we are doing now is to subtract x and the what the mean that we've got to so here will be 12 minus 14 and 12 minus 14 will give us what minus 2 then we have 17 minus 14 that will give us 3 okay then lastly we have 22 minus 14 and that will definitely give us 8 Okay, so that is how we get it. So now that we've known our x minus m, the next thing we do is to stick the square of the x minus m. So here we're going to say 
x minus m then we put our square so if we come down to this place here our minus 12 squared is minus 12 times minus 12 and that's going to give us 144 then minus 7 squared is minus 7 times minus 7 which is what 49 so the minus sign will disappear okay then minus 2 squared will give us 4 then 3 squared will give us 9 and of course 8 squared will give us 64 now we are just one step away from solving this problem and that step is to multiply the frequency which is each frequency you see here we are going to multiply it with the value we've gotten here which is this so here we're going to write out f of x minus m all squared now in doing this now what do we do next we are going to say 1 multiplied by 144 and that will give us 144 now if we multiply 5 which is a frequency and our 49 that will give us 245 so we have 245 now for multiply 10 and 4 we have 40 so here we have 9 times 9 which of course will give us 81 and then here we have 5 multiplied by 64 and that of course is going to give us 320 okay so what is left now is for us to add up all the values according to the um, formula here the summation f of x minus m or squared so we are going to add up all these values and if we do that addition very quickly we are going to arrive at 830 so now that we've done this we've completed the table we can now proceed to solving this second problem here now in solving the second problem which is the standard deviation we are going to write out the formula again so we say summation f of x minus m all squared then divided by what summation f and this is going to give us summation um the result of what we've gotten here which is 830 we'll write it out 830 then we divide by summation f which of course is 30 then we have this okay now if we do this division we take our calculator very quickly we take our calculator here we earn it and then we divide 830 by 30 so we have it here 830 okay you can see that 830 divided by 30 the value there will give us 27.66666 so we come up here we'll write out our 20 7.666 and it goes on um, because it's a recurring what decimal now if we take the square root of this value let's come over here this is the value we've gotten before now we press our square root sign which is this and then we say equals to you are going to have 5.259 so write it out 5.259 and with the nine we still have one more now we can stop here okay now before we finalize this question we need to come back again to what the questions ask us to do it says we should calculate the standard deviation correct to what two decimal places so which means that over here we need to um, approximate our final answers to two decimal points so we write our five points now after the decimal point count two digits which is one two then we round the third digit which is what nine take it up as one and add it to five it becomes six so we have two six here and then we can say to what to two d p so here you have it that is now the answer to this problem 